make it faithful to our vision of inspiring the hearts and minds of kids, empowering them to make a better world. No? So uh, normally when you open Kinsanya, there's a grand master plan. Uh, they define certain establishments that are mandatory. Of course, establishments that make a city work, like a bank, a hospital, and the fire station, and so many others. But they also allow us some flexibility to develop you know, content experiences that are relevant to the country. Um, and with, with us here in Kizan, in Manila, we were thinking we also want jobs, to develop jobs that are representative of, you know, the, the, the professions of the children uh, we will serve here in the city. So, first of all, um, because, of course, uh, we are an island and we are the center of the center of marine biodiversity, according to Ms. Gina Lopez. And so we, we wanted to have an activity that would, you know, also showcase a fisherman and also marine conservation. And for those of you who don't know, we have a marine research lab, the only one that has that around the 27 Kizania. Then we thought, aside from that, we also want to honor the farmers. And so we also have farming. We have one of two that have farming activity in any Kizania. And actually, the third was a bookstore. Um, we were surprised that the bookstore was not mandatory in a city like Kizania. So we are actually right now uh, proudly one of five of the 27 that has a bookstore. Uh, because honestly, we couldn't imagine like a Kizania without the bookstore. Um, and of course, when it comes to bookstores, um, National Bookstore was a brand that, of course, first came to mind. And we couldn't also imagine building Kizania without National Bookstore. Um, you know, I, I shared this uh, when I first met with Mr. Anton Ramos when we were presenting, and I did say, no, you know, we can't build it without National Bookstore. And I think when, when he looked at me, he was saying, like, okay, so I'm going to hard selling from the <laughs> But that's really the truth. Um, because here in Kazania, yes, we get sponsors, but we also we get sponsors because we introduce our brands to children. But I think more than that, we, we want to introduce new learnings. We want to introduce, you know, uh, teach them life skills and values that could really make a difference and that can really make an impact to, to them. And so um, we believe that National Bookstore shared our vision of fostering Filipinos' love for reading. And um, so we're very happy, like in 2015, we opened the very first National Bookstore here in Kizan, in Manila. Uh, for some of you who've been coming here in the Congress Kids, I'm sure you've tried it, you know. Uh, the National Bookstore allowed children to browse and read books for free. Um, of course, this is such a busy, bustling, noisy place, but there's a lot of introverted children that really go to the bookstore to just like, you know, have a quiet time and read and, you know, reflect. Um, and apart from that, they also enjoy um, do storytelling sessions around the city. And this is where we introduce different Filipino books. Uh, we're, we're, that's really what, what, what we want to promote, Filipino stories. And even there, I was introduced to the book. It's called Chenilin. And it's wonderful because it teaches children how to care for the household help that cares for them every day. And it's, isn't it wonderful? And it, it's done in a fun way. And then also, um, in, the, in the old bookstore, they learn to design book displays to attract new uh, readers. And they arrange it alphabetically or, you know, so that they create sentences. It's like Marie Kondo, <laughs> in a way, when they arrange it so that when they go back and all the children here, hopefully, when you went back home, you actually know how to organize your books in your rooms. And of course, lastly, we also teach in the bookstore um, uh, to take up the pen to write your own very uh, your own short stories. Because right now everything is digital, right? So there. Um, then the year after, we actually opened the National Art and Design Academy. This time in partnership with Dong A. Book writers working together to come up with the next best seller short story. And for those kids with a love for the visual arts. They can also become artists and either get to work painting and designing the glass murals off the facade of the establishment, or they can practice their art techniques in a painting class where they not only get to be artists in practice, but even take home the artwork that they worked on. So whether it be through books or through the arts, kids can discover, learn, and express themselves in this one-of-a-kind creative learning space that sparks their imagination, fosters interaction with each other, 
and ultimately inspires fun through the awesome power of play. So thank you again for the trust and the support, Ms. Sandra and the rest of the MBS team. Thank you also to our partners from Dong A. And it's an, it's an honor, I might I have to say, it's an honor to partner with National Bookstore and with Dong A as we together ignite the hearts and minds of Filipino children everywhere. Here's to helping children and parents alike build memories that spark with joy, connection, and have a whole lot of fun. It's a job that takes commitment, a lot of teamwork, and a shared belief in the love of learning and making it truly accessible for Filipino children and parents alike, wherever they may be. And on that note, I want to leave you with one last quote that's actually emblazoned right there on the establishment of the National Bookstore and Art Studio. It reads, invest in your mind, read more, no more. From no other than Miss Nani Corin from MBS. And with that quote, I want to leave you with that charge and that challenge that every day, take the challenge to invest in your mind. Read books, expand your world, explore it, and make the world a truly better place wherever you may be. Thank you so much. Have a great day and have a most productive day at Kazani Manila. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Mr. IT, of course, right here to the front so we can have a few photos. One of Kidzanya's esteemed citizens and artists, we have our Red Keeper Bebop. Let's all say hi, Bebop! Alright, Bebop's just in time for our photos. So maybe call on again, Mr. Cecilia, Mr. Sandra, and Mr. Ike. And of course, Bebop to take the photo with all of you. Moment. 